are his people because he's talking about uh, these people that are not of this world. You know what I'm saying? They're not, they're in it, but they're not of it, but they're not of it because they follow the word, but you know, they don't hate the word, but they follow the word. You know what I'm saying? And that's it. I mean, looking at that, really disturbing when I see the ideal of Christianity right now and what is being talked about and what has not being talked about um, is a troubling thing that, of course, Jesus prophesied and Paul pro prophesied will happen. That, you know, we need to um, understand what this glory thing is all about because, look, I don't think churches truly sincerely uh, uh truly sincerely understand this glory thing you know what i'm saying and you know and this is the reason why they don't understand the glory thing it's the topic of this message because glory in god glorifying god is a suffering process <laughs> let me say this again glorifying god is supposed to lead to a suffering process you know what i'm saying because now and i'm and and i'm not talking about like suffering uh or not just talking about suffering because you're broke or suffering because uh you you're in a bad situation no it's a suffering process concerning of you stand upon the truth or more likely you follow god's righteousness you know what i'm saying because you know it's interesting you know I wish I can do a, a, a thorough teaching on Matthew 6, 33, about the eye of what really Jesus Christ is saying. Because everybody got this thing called the kingdom of God is about you making a lot of money and getting becoming prosperous, you know, because God is going to bring the addition to you like this. And, you know, and he's going to bring the addition like that, you know, and it's people have misinterpreted that ideal of what Jesus is presenting. He's presenting this for those that have eyes to see it, but that's another message. But the thing is, it says the kingdom of God and his righteousness. Now, as what it says in the Beatitudes of uh, Matthew 5, it talks about blessed is those that are persecuted for his name's sake, you know? I mean, the, I, the, the, the lack of persecution to me that is it that is not not going on in a greater scale of really christians uh speaking against what is not right unto god concerning the church now because here's the thing the world is going to be dark the world is going to be wicked the world is going to do bad things and continue bad things and the thing is, it's not about for the, everybody think, oh, if we, you know, go, uh, if we uh, are of the world, let's try to solve the problems concerning the way the world solve problems. You know what I'm saying? You know, it's interesting. Jesus says in Matthew 6, you know, don't do, don't seek what the Gentiles seek. Man, church system, the mass majority Christians of this world are Gentile seekers, from my viewpoint, you know what I'm saying? I see a lot of Gentile seekers. I do not see people truly seeking his righteousness, you know what I'm saying? They're seeking after anything that has something to do with glorifying a man, yes. Uh-huh. You will seek after ideals that if it's if, if it's glorifying a man or it's glorifying you. Let me say it again. You will Christians of these days will be about events that is uh glorifying a man or it's glorifying you. And you don't realize that it's trying to do that. And you think it's about a uh, God or about Jesus Christ. But no, it's about, you know, you and it's about glorifying other people, you know, and it's sad to what extent that is going to continue getting because it's not being addressed in a greater way in the, uh, to the church. I'm just doing my part on my uh, YouTube channel and my Facebook to address these things that nobody, few people are going to address. But the thing is, 
glorifying is a suffering process. It's not really, oh, I got the, I got blessed with a hundred dollars and a hundred million dollars or something. Or I got blessed with a car. Or I got blessed with this. Yes, we're supposed to be blessed, okay? I'm not, I'm not, yes, that's that's a blessing. And 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 and, and you thankful, you appreciate it. But the suffering that Jesus is talking about concerning righteousness sake is the suffering that you are presenting what his word of God says. What his word of God says, um, this is this, that is that. You know what I'm saying? And the church is doing contrary, a church system is doing contrary to this and this and that is that. Sadly, that the Peter said, I mean, yeah, Peter said that uh, uh, things will, will get bad. But let me talk about what Peter said. Um, first Peter, um, four, you know, 16, it talks about that it, it titles the word Christian. It titles the word Christian. And, and, and he's and Peter is speaking of what defines a Christian pretty much. And guess what word, you know, just, just he puts that really supposed to show forth the, 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 uh, actions of a Christian. He says suffering. <laughs> yes, he says suffer. He didn't. He didn't say how how much they how how famous they is. They can preach, they can teach, they can sing, they can dance, they can do all these gifting and all these other stuff. He didn't mention nothing about that. But one thing he mentioned on First Peter, I believe, four, he talks about suffer. That they suffer for the glory. Of God. I mean, you will think the first century church, if Christians do research the history of the church, the first century church experienced a great, great, all, great, ridiculous suffering from the beginning of the stage of Christianity. You think that the nowadays Christian will get the idea that, wait a minute, it's not about me being famous because I do this or me being famous because I do that. It's not being famous because of this and that. It's about how much do I suffer? Do I suffer for the sake of being ridiculed, being mistreated, being rejected, being disrespected by people for the sake of the truth of God's word concerning his righteousness? Do Am I speaking against things that are contrary of God? You know what I'm saying? Am I, you know, willing to uh, uh, to tell what does saith the Lord or what pretty much Jesus did to they, uh, Satan. That always aggravate me. When I read um, uh, Matthew 4, I mean, Jesus, you know, shows this example. Jesus shows so much example in the scriptures of what we should be conducting ourselves as Christians because we're supposed to be Christ-like. I mean, Jesus is going toe-to-toe -to -toe with Satan and he says, it is written. <laughs> He, he, I mean, Jesus, here's Jesus, God in the flesh, that probably know the word of God, that know, probably can quote the Torah, you know, 300 times, you know, and in and, and all kind of ways. But here's what Jesus says to say, it is written. It's that simple. It's supposed to be that simple concerning of what we need to be about, concerning if we're going to be about glorifying God. I mean, the, the, the ideal of the performance of Jesus Christ, because he, he prayed to the God, uh, prayed to his father that he is going to accept the will of God. He accepts the will of God. He gets suffered. He suffered. You know what I'm saying? He suffered the rejection of his disciples. He suffered the uh, betrayal of his disciples. He suffered to go to jail. He suffered to be rejected by Barabbas. He suffered 39 lashes in the crown of thorns. He suffered, you know, to carry a cross. He suffered to get nailed on it. He suffered, you know, all this suffering. And now Christians are like, what, huh? What? Suffer? What do you mean? Oh, you mean I'm supposed to like suffer and get ridiculed and rejected and disrespected it, it's, it's it's they think it's foreign to them they say no i'm not supposed to be mistreated and suffer and suffer for the gospel i'm supposed to get famous and become a starter ministry and start a you know uh 
whatever, a big church and look good and dress with suits and I mean, and ladies need to wear their dresses and look pretty in front of everybody and you look nice and, you know, say a word. I mean, the ideal of, you know, actually suffering to speak the truth of what God's word says and, you know, and stand upon the truth and people are not going to support you anymore. People are not going to financially support you or uh, they're not going to back you because you, you know, uh, you know, uh, not te not teaching the fables. You know what I'm saying? Look, that's this is not what it's all about concerning the kingdom of God. And and these people say that they give glory to God. They or no 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 no. Okay. Oh yeah. Let me distinguish this. There's a difference between giving glory and glorifying God. Okay. I'm in somebody's way. Uh, the glory, now we're supposed to give glory to God. My fault. I supposed to differentiate this. Give glory to God. Yes, every human being is supposed to give glory to God. Even the sinner is supposed to give glory to God. That if they credit of their ability of accomplishment and they say God gave them the ability, everybody should give glory to God if they should. Now, glorifying God is different. Glorifying God as what Jesus did is that he submitted himself to be uh, uh, the will of God, that he went through the you know, persecution, the be rejection, the disrespected, and all that kind of stuff right there, y'all know, I just, you know, said, that is glorifying God, you know what I'm saying? But, you know, nowadays they got ministries, they got people saying that, oh, I'm glorifying God and my ministry and how I do this and how I do that. And where is the suffering? <laughs> uh, yeah, where is the ridicule? Where, why is, pe is church people are rejecting you concerning your message that your message is according to what the word of God says? Um, is, 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 is you, are you going to be about standing on the truth and, and performing the truth? You know what I'm saying? That is supposed to be examined if this person says that they're glorifying God. You know what I'm saying? And a not enough glorifying God going on in this world we live in. And it's sad to the extent that people don't want to glorify God in their suffering and in and, and their standing upon the truth and, and telling what thus saith the Lord, even though it's unpopular. But look, there's too many bad outcomes are going on around the, uh, around the world that because you're not doing this, you're not following God's word. There's a lot of bad outcomes happening and people are questioning the ideal existence of God. <laughs> Their question is God's real, is God's power real? I mean, and I know Christians these days don't really care about that. Well, if you don't want to believe God's power is not real, oh well, you know what I'm saying? Attitudes that I experience with most Christians. Uh, but no, we supposed to care. We're supposed to be representations of God and we're supposed to represent God and follow his instructions whether we be rejected or despised or uh, uh, ridiculed by any human being. That's what we're supposed to do. And if, you're, if you do this, you do this to glorify God. And that is the definition of glorifying God that we will require a suffering process that's supposed to be performed. You know what I'm saying? And if it's not being performed, that means you're not glorifying God. You know what I'm saying? You can give God glory and credit that he woke you up this morning, started you on your way, gave you life to strength. But to glorify God, you have to suffer for the sake of the, his righteousness and whatever persecution that come behind it concerning the Beatitudes. So be it because you glorify God and God has your back and you rather want to stand for God's word than stand then then the flattery and the popularity uh, of things of men that people unfortunately desire more than to stand upon God's word and stand upon God's truth these days we live in. But I hope and pray that you will be a person that be about glorifying God concerning suffering for his name's sake and suffering for his truth and telling people what does say the Lord. If if God is going to be God, you got to follow his instructions. Does say the Lord if you want a God outcome out of it. All right. And that's the message. And I hope you understand and I hope you get it. To God be the glory, him forever and ever. In Jesus name. Amen. Glorify God. Go to the direction of suffering.
Be blessed.